Hello there my friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with my friend Jacoby and we have a sewing machine video tutorial for you today. Hi, my name is Jacoby. Today we have my LS1520 brother and we're going to teach you how to use one. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how all the parts of the machine. Here's the presser foot. This is how we move the pressure foot. And here's back reverse. And this is how we put your stitches. We don't have a stitch width and a stitch length. It's all included in here. Here's how we take off the compartment. We will hold both of the par the side and the front. Pull it just out. Then we flip this down and blah blah. And then we put it back on. Just the same thing. Just put it on like this. Boom. The flywheel makes the needle go down and up. This attention knob. It does not have a thread cutter, but we can add one. Here's how. Here's the power thing. And this is how we turn the lights on and off, and how to turn it on and off. Next, I'm going to show you how to thread it. This is a sprue pin. If you're putting it in a box, you can. Push it down. Make sure you're using it. Put it up. Here's a broad uh, string. And if you want to thread it, here's how we thread it. You pull it around here and pull it down and go up. And if you cannot thread it if the wake up lever is down, so make sure it's all the way up and put it around there All right and then you put it behind the wire first once you put it through the middle put your thing down then put the string under the metal part pull back Sometimes it doesn't work, but then once you do that, grab the circle behind the needle and just pull. This is how we pull the thing out. Put two hands on it, pull out. Then you can lift this down, and to take it out, you gotta pull on this and take it out and then here's how you get it out okay and then you look for the slash and then once you find the slash the string does not go on the same way it goes the opposite way of it and pull it through the uh, slash and then pull it through and then it, there you have it and you put it back in and then you the little rod has to line up and you push until it makes a click then you shut it and then you put it right back on and then you grab the string from the needle, turn the wheel towards you, and wait until there's a circle. You can use your hands to get the circle out, or you can use scissors. And just pull it through, and it should be in. Keep pulling. And just keep on pulling. 
into itself. And there you have it. The threads are under the pressure foot. And now you can sew. Now we can sew. We'll put it under the pressure foot. Always lower the pressure foot. Then we step on the foot. It can begin, begin sewing on your project. Right? And this is how we back foot. We press this and press it. And the pressure foot will go backwards. And here's some of the ones you can do on it. Like number three. It can be squiggly. It can be squiggly. All different kinds of them like let's do a two we can do two what's a lot thinner we could do uh we could do eight a just a straight line or we could do 11 what moves the needle on the left side there's all different kinds of these you can use to make different patterns on your project all right this is how we do get it off first got to make sure the needle is not in the fabric so pull this the circle for this circle right here forward and so it's out of the fabric then you lift up your presser foot and pull it then we grab some scissors and cut the string off and ta-da! We have it off the sewing machine. Here we have it. Here's my apron I made with my brother. And you can sew anything with brothers. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. That's how you use the Brother LS1520 sewing machine. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give our video a like. And please subscribe to our channel for more. And if you have this machine and it helped you, or if you have anything else you want to say about it, please give us a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. And if you want me to be in more videos, comment down below too. Thank you so much for watching. Happy sewing. Bye.